podcast. Oh, are you ready for some Instagram goodness? I hope you are because Emily White is bringing it. Emily White is uh, from Sunnyvale ISD in Texas, and she is going to share some of her key takeaways from the Instagram challenge that we just had. It was a free challenge, and she took all the action and got astronomical improvements, talking zero to over 13,000 people reached, and she is now addicted to Instagram reels and she did a student takeover. What? You're scared of that? I know. Uh, But she's going to talk through all of the things that she took action on and you are going to learn a lot. She was scared. She was nervous, uh, but she took action. And you guys, we have the same opportunity to support you in this as well. Emily is part of our membership group. And as you look forward to the 22-23 school year and you are saying, I wish I could get excited about social media again. I wish I felt some inspiration. I wish I had great ideas that were working with other schools. I wish I had some templates to use that would make creating graphics easier. I wish I had some great teaching resources of how to use LinkedIn or how to how to maximize Instagram or geez, how do you do this Instagram real thing? Well, I offer all of that in my membership group. Okay. And it's for one low price, up to three people from your school or district can join, and you are going to have 365 days of support, inspiration, training, and more. Check out more on my website, socialschoolforedu.com. We've got more information as well in the show notes today, Um, but you deserve this. Professional development is part of every school's budget for people to get training that they need to do their job better. And what changes faster than social media? I don't know. It changes all the time. And what works changes all the time. Let us support you in your role in this school year. You don't want to miss it. Check out all the details. You can get signed up today. Um, We can be ready to start July 1st. We can invoice you in July, even if you want to join now. So um, definitely sign up get all the details. We want to meet you in there. So now before we get started with the interview with Emily, let's grab this week's K-12 PR tip. All right. Today's K-12 PR tip is all about the difference between an Instagram reel and an Instagram video. This is something that happened in our challenge where people were a little bit confused. Instagram reels is basically TikTok for Instagram. It's short uh, currently anywhere from, you know, one second to 60 seconds in length. Uh, You can put copyrighted, well, it's not copyright because it's through Instagram. You can put music with it. You can put words on it. It can be a combination of videos and photos. And it's actually got its own editing abilities right in the Instagram app. It's awesome. Now, an IG video is something that is longer than one minute that basically lives in on your feed. Um, You post it just like you would normally post uh, a picture, um, but you upload a video. Uh, There is no such thing anymore as IGTV. Um, It's now just Instagram video. Think of this as some longer video content. Uh, Maybe it's a promotional video, um, things like that. Uh, But Instagram Reels, you guys, right now, is getting a lot of attention. And if you have a short enough video that maybe you made for a promotional type thing, Try throwing it onto reels and see what you can do. Emily in the interview is actually going to tell you about how she took some snippets from a longer video she was creating and instead put them in reels. Um, Well, in addition to put them in reels. And guess what? She had a huge, huge reach, way more than the reach she got with a longer video. So this is key. I want you to jump into reels. We actually have a blog that will give you some examples, 10 great examples from schools that are simple things that you can do. And if you are looking for more training on how to do reels, that's where you need to jump in to my membership group because I've trained all of them on how to do reels for their schools and they are killing it. They are doing an awesome job. It's a great tool in your tool belt that isn't as scary when you get started. So uh, that's just a little bit uh, explanation between reels and video. I'm telling you, reels is where it's at. I want you to get started and try that. Maybe it's on your summer bucket list. That would be totally fine too. Best place to learn it though, 
it's from me because I that's all I do is work with K-12 schools. So, all right, without further delay, let's get on to this awesome interview with Emily White. Hey, Emily, welcome to the podcast. Well, thanks for having me, Andrea. I'm so happy to be here. It is warmer in Sunnyvale and you're in Texas, right? <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it's 40, yeah. De- 40 degree high today. Oh, for you, it's 40 degrees. That's the high. Yeah, that's the high. And I've got two daughters that have track meets tonight and I've got a son that's playing golf and they are, they are not happy people. Let me look at the temperature here. It's 62 here right now. Gosh, I'm so jealous. I'm so So. jealous. (laughs) Um, well, uh, you know, what's not cold your Instagram page. (laughs) Well, Well, thanks to you. Holy cow, did we heat that thing up? So we are going to be talking uh, with Emily White today about her results from our latest uh, free challenge that we just did, this Instagram challenge. But before we dive into that, Emily, can you introduce yourself and uh, just kind of share your role there at Sunnyvale ISD? Sure. Um, I'm Emily White. I am the uh, the Director of Communications and Marketing in Sunnyvale ISD in Sunnyvale, Texas. We're just outside of Dallas. We're about, uh, in, on a non traffic day, we're about 15 minutes from downtown Dallas. So um, we're a small district, about uh, just under 2,200 kids. So we have four campuses, um, an elementary, an intermediate school, um, a middle school, and a high school. And I've been here for, um, this is my 15th year. And I'm actually an alum of this district as well. So I have kids here in the district. Well, I have one kid here in the district. I have one who is a graduate. Um, He's at the University of Texas. So hook them horns. Um, And um, and my job is to, um, you know, I just do all the the marketing, the public relations. I'm the webmaster. Um, Up until a few years ago, I was a journalism teacher. (laughs) And I, um, you know, so I um, run all our district social media and um, we have a magazine. I do all the print publications, all the promotional materials, all of that kind of stuff and events. And I do all the community relations. So (laughs) it's a, we, in this district, we wear lots of hats. So yeah, I'm exhausted just listening to your <laughs> list of to do things. But I think a lot of our listeners, Emily, can totally, totally relate yes. because they are the the um, webmaster and they do social yes. media and they do events and 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 at one point yeah. you were the journalism teacher. Of course yeah. you were, um, which I'm sure you loved. But to yes. to be able to fit that yeah. all in with everything else. Um, so what channels do you run there at Sunnyvale? We have Facebook, we have campus channels as well, but um, at the district level, we have a Facebook, a Twitter, and an Instagram, and then also a YouTube. So um, I'm mainly interacting on a daily basis with Facebook and Instagram. Now I'm really interacting with (laughs) Instagram. And then Twitter, I'm not quite as crazy on um, Twitter, but there is mainly a lot of retweeting and and posting stuff that is happening throughout the day, but, um, okay. but Instagram and Facebook is where I focus most of my attention. Okay. Awesome. So you recently just, uh, participated in the ignite your Instagram challenge. So can you just kind of explain to our listeners, like what that challenge was all about? Like, what was yes. it like? First of all, it was super fun and it was super exciting. And, um, it was so easy to do and so helpful and um, for someone like me, who um, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not like old or anything, but I'm 47, and so I'm not really in the Instagram age range. Um, although I'm not, I'm not, um, I, I adapt to technology really easily, and I'm, I'm definitely in the Facebook age range. So um, me I'm, too. Yeah, I mean, I'm constantly on Facebook when I'm, you know, I guess I just kind of grew up into Facebook or whatever once it started, but um, Instagram was not where I really hung out, but just as a user. Um, And so we didn't even have an Instagram a year ago. And so I was like, oh, I guess I really need to have an Instagram um, for our district because our, our parents are younger than I am and I need to get on that. So when your challenge came up, um, it was the perfect opportunity for me to get myself under control in Instagram and get the district aligned um, strategically for Instagram. And what it was is that 
it was just a, a series. It was a two-week challenge. It had 10 challenges for, um, for the users in the group to really, really just get our, um, our Instagrams organized, looking better, um, understanding how to use the analytics, um, and then help us to feel confident and comfortable with the different functions of Instagram. So reels, um, stories, posts, and, um, and then updating our highlights and helping us to understand which posts were appropriate for different times and which posts or which types of posts are appropriate and better for gaining certain users and, and followers. And so for me, I had never done a reel in my life and I was scared to death. And, um, and now I'm like a real junkie. So <laughs> I know I, I, like I think we created a bunch of real addicts. And so, um, yeah. and I was going to tell everybody, you know, one reel a week, I mean, you can do more, but even for a goal of one reel a week would be, it just dramatically impacts it. We're going to dive into numbers, yeah. but you were kind of scared. Were you scared of reels? Oh my gosh. I was like, I, when I, I would see the videos that popped up, like, um, the reels from Instagram that popped up on Facebook because they're both owned by meta. And so they, they share, or I guess Facebook is trying to sort of promote reels. Um, and so I would see them and I would just, you know, you go home, you're relaxing and you just kind of get into a I don't know, you're like zoning out. And so I would do that, you know, and I would watch them and I would feel like, these are so funny and so cute. I want to do this. But I was like, I don't even know how to do this. And, um, and I was scared to death. <laughs> and, um, and so you taught us how to do that. And, um, and now I've made these cute little reels for our school. And, and some of them have gotten like, like really high reaches, like 3000 and, and over 3000. And, um, and it made our, overall reach for the, the, the entire Instagram for our entire account up into the 13 thousands. And, and, and that's pretty insane because we didn't even have, I mean, when we started, <laughs> it's so embarrassing, but when we started this, this challenge, you were walking us through this. And the first thing you said was, okay, if you are not on a business account, and I was like, business account, what? <laughs> And, and so I went through it and I wasn't, I didn't even have it on the right account and you showed us how to do that. And so when my beginning metrics, I'll just hold this up for anybody that could see it. We started at zero because I didn't even have a business account and I was embarrassed to post this picture of the first time and everybody's posting theirs and they're so cute. And I emailed you and I was like, I'm so embarrassed. I don't want to post this. And then when we finished after doing all the reels, we finished with um, 13.2 thousand. And that was crazy. We couldn't believe it. That's uh, uh, insane. And, uh, yeah, so you, you kind of had to put down all the, the before <laughs> metrics. And I, I remember getting that email and it's like, <laughs> we, uh, and that's the thing, right? We all start somewhere and we yeah. got to love ourselves all through it. And if you don't know any better, how do you know? And, yeah. and I think it's so, um, and I just love what I get to do, first of all, because uh, getting to serve uh, dedicated school PR folks like you is the best, Emily. But, you know, there's not until maybe I came around specific training that is for oh. social media for K-12 schools. And yeah, so you're so good at it. So that's uh, it was uh, was what I was born to do. God, God <laughs> led me to it. And I'm so happy. But um, but you did the work um, <laughs> and. So we kind of walked through in some different trainings and I'm really excited for everybody listening. There is a link. This Instagram challenge is actually going to be an Instagram boot camp. It's going to be offered this fall in 2022. And if you're interested in it, there's it's not an official sign up, but if you're just interested in it, it's in the show notes. I want you to sign up. It's going to be a four week challenge. This was a two week challenge. There, there will be a charge to it. Um, but oh my gosh, if you can go from zero to 13,000, holy cow. Um, but we really walked step by step yes. in how to do different things like reels, like stories, like saving things to highlights. And we really made your page look better as well. So what were some of the improvements you made for just like the aesthetics of your page as yes. well, Emily? Well, um, the first thing that I did was we changed the bio. 
And you chose, you really pointed out how, how powerful it is to make your bio look, I mean, just simple things like little emojis and just, and, and making it simplified because it doesn't, it doesn't need to be this long, you know, sort of drawn out description with your, you know, I mean, it does need to have your mission, but it doesn't need to be this whole long, huge description. And so I made that um, better. And then I um, added a few emojis based on the, the uh, suggestions that you had put in our, um, in our presentations, in our Zoom meetings. And, um, and then we added, you know, you explained link in bio, which for everybody who's listening, if you don't know, which some of us did not, maybe me, you can't have a link in Instagram, you have to, or on posts in, in Instagram, so you have to have a, a link in your bio, and you can do that by adding a link tree, or, or there's a, a bunch of vendors you can use, so I added that, and um, and Andrea taught us how to make it all cute, and she gave us different examples, and I made mine as cute as I could, and then adding highlights, and um, and then making highlight covers to make them look attractive and um and so we did that and I made mine all cute and matchy and in my school colors and everything and um so those are the first few things we did and then um and and that was I, I think just presentation wise that was a, a step the first step and then adding you encouraged us to add six really good photos really outstanding photos to our grid and um and that was I think just from if you just initially look at the at the page or at the at the side or the account, then it that's made it look much more aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> yeah, and we've got a link to your page, um, so you can see that you can see the post, you can see the cute highlight covers. You've got careers and athletics and celebrations and fine arts. So just those categories of stories that you would share. Um, but then I see your reels, and one thing I just want to highlight is. You actually chose, and I think it's brilliant, to use some reels on attracting some staff because everybody yeah. listening to this, we're having a really hard time with staff. And so you actually did some interviews with current staff on why they love working or any benefits. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, I am. Um, we just had our very first job fair and we all know that there's a huge nationwide um, teacher shortage and we had actually this actually sort of dovetailed nicely together for us because we, I had been doing a, a recruitment video for our, um, for our HR department. And, and that's, and I actually posted that as well, but it's very, it was long. And so I interviewed a few teachers and, um, and I had that raw video. And so I just took snippets from it, just little pieces and quotes that I thought were relevant that might be helpful in attracting, um, various teachers and um you know we're all trying to get great staff and teachers um you know teachers need child care teachers need um to feel the, that passion again we're you know we're all coming off of the last couple of years of covid and we're all kind of like <laughs> we're just just all you know on fumes really and truly and so I picked a few a couple of videos that I thought might um, stir those um, emotions and needs in teachers and then I posted those snippets um, with the with the caption the automatic caption um, on Instagram and, and and I also posted those on Facebook as well okay so the big thing to know you guys is her the, the Sunnyvale ISD Texas page, which again, we've got, got that linked in the show notes. Um, you have 541 followers. You just started a year ago. So that's, that's fine. But before the, the challenge, we started with 459. Okay. So we've added almost a hundred. Um, but the thing is like that, that one video with Mrs. Stanfill, where she was talking about the, the job, um, the yeah. child care, yeah. that, that reached over 3,240 3, people, it reached more yes. than that. So there's no way that a video that, that's not shared in this format, and again, it's less than 10 or less than a minute, it has to be to be a reel, um, but there's no way that reaches that many people no. if you just share it. And, and in some cases, even on your Facebook page, it might not reach no. as many. So, um, it, but it I, didn't. it did not on okay. Facebook. Yeah. 
and yeah. it was a longer video and you, so i just love it it's brilliant you guys you need to look at what emily did and you're gonna take it and then you're gonna be like oh i could do this or that or oh. um because i think it's easy. it's obvious you were recording that for a longer um thing because you you yeah. recorded it in landscape you could easily record yeah. it you know straight up yeah. now that you know yeah. um but uh but that's that is awesome. So that is a great idea. I actually used that Mrs. Stanfill um, video as a real example because my blog this week, everybody, and, and if you go to socialschoolforedu.com, I always have a new blog every couple of weeks, but I've got 10 different real ideas for your school. Oh. And then I've got a free download of 25 ideas. So you guys want to check that out. I'll link it in the show notes as well. Um, but you'll, you'll definitely want to see that. Um, so that's awesome. So, okay. One of the challenges, which I think in reels cause the most like being scared, Yeah. but the oh, most yeah. anxiety was probably the student takeovers Yeah. yeah. because you were trusting your students to take it over. And you did a great job of not only having the student takeover, but you also um, really advertised it because that's going to help you get more eyes. So tell me about your student takeover. Well, I, um, I just, <laughs> um, I was, I was nervous too. I mean, I, I, you think to yourself, Oh, golly, I'm just going to let a kid, you know, I'm just going to let a kid just take over my Instagram. So, so it was a little, you know, your nerve, I was nerve, it was nerve wracking, but I, um, what I did was I, I was like, okay, how can I make this, how can I make people want to not make people, but encourage people to, to look at this and watch it. And so, and then how can I entice this student to do this in a way that will be a responsible, you know, experience. So I looked on our calendar and I thought, well, what's coming up that would be fun that could help promote something for the kid where the kid has a great buy-in so I found out that we had, I was like, okay, we have our one act plays public performance that was coming up the following Monday. So I was like, okay, this is a cool thing. We can promote that. She, whoever, whoever the student will be, will be, um, will want to, to do a good job of that because they, they're going to have buy-in they're going to want to, to make that look nice. And we need to promote the one act play anyway, because we want attendance. So I, um, I called our theater director, Mr. Gamble, and he said, oh, I think you could get Emily Stevens to do it. And I was like, oh, okay. So we got together. <clears throat> we really didn't even talk on the phone. We, I mean, we didn't really talk in person. We talked on the phone and she said, oh yeah, I can do that. And she, of course, you know, they know Instagram better than we do. <laughs> Absolutely. They know what they're doing. Yeah. So we set it up and then I just made a graphic and I wanted it to really stand out to be like, this student is taking over Instagram, you know? And so I put it in this huge font that looks like um, comic book uh, font sort of. Yes. Yeah. It's like a superhero yeah, kind of font. Right. Yes. Like this person is taking over the world. And so um, I made that and then I put it in our e-newsletter which is s'more. And then I sent that out and I explained to everybody, Hey, we're, we're in a contest and can you follow us? And here's where you follow us on Instagram. And I sent that out and I put that on all our social channels. And then Emily also put that on her Instagram and sent that out to her friends. And then all the theater kids did that. And they're like, Oh, yay, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be featured. And, um, and that's how we did it. And then the next day I made her, her own special login and, um, and then she logged in on her own and I just monitored during the day. I mean, I was really monitoring. I mean, <laughs> cause I was nervous, but I, um, but she was wonderful and she did a fantastic job and, yeah. and it was super fun. And, and we will, we will definitely do that again. Yeah. Later. Cause now you can highlight a different group yeah. and then attract some other students because I'm sure some of those hundred new followers that you gained were because oh, of yeah. that. For sure. For sure. Well, like we're already, I'm already going to like next year with the ag, the FFA team, we're going to do when they go to this in Texas. I don't know if you know, we have the state fair of Texas and it's okay. the biggest state fair in the country and it's giant and they're going to go to that. So we'll do it on their state fair day and we'll do, you know, different, different groups. I mean, we're going to do it at least once a month. Yeah. What so, about graduation? I don't know. If oh, yeah. Got, yeah. That'd be a great yeah, time. Absolutely. 
um, anything with summer school, but yeah. And then sometimes in the summer, there's different events going on. Yeah. So would it be okay, Emily, I've got that link to the email. Could I send, yeah. could I share that in the show notes? So you guys can see the graphic that she put out. Um, she also shared things over on Facebook. Hey, Emily's taking over, which must be, you know, we got awesome Emily storytellers uh, here. <laughs> um, but uh, I've got a bunch of Emily's on my team too. So I think that's cool. Yeah. Um, but and then you said you gave her a special login, but you, you have to log yes. in as the Instagram account, correct? Yes. So I just changed the password that day okay. so that she would not have my password. Okay. And, then, um, and that way I, you know, we just changed it just for that day. And then um, I just thought just for security reasons, you know, I didn't right. want her to have our school login. Yeah. And, and th so then you could change it back the next day and then yes, she's automatically logged out. Yep. Um, you exactly. can, from a device, just so you guys know, when somebody goes to log in, you can be logged into up to five Instagram accounts yeah. right through the Instagram app. Yeah. Um, and so that's really easy. Um, but people are like, Emily, I don't know. I, I just don't <laughs> trust these kids. What yeah. would you, what would you say to them? I would say that if you are nervous um, find, talk to the sponsor of that group or a director in that group and just say, listen, I need it to be a, a trust, trustworthy person, somebody who understands how to do this, someone who gets that if he or she does something wrong, that they're immediately going to help be held accountable. And, um, and then just during the day, watch it. And if something goes wrong, take it down immediately. Right. Um, but I think, I think it's, I think when the, when you have a really responsible kid and you can find that right kid, they take it and they run with it. And then they, they're superstars. I, and I think the more we trust kids and encourage them to make great decisions and do fun things. I mean, I'm, I'm going to ask Emily if she wants to be my intern next year. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they enjoy that kind of stuff and, um, and we can trust them to be, to be good citizens and good people. And, and to make great decisions. Yeah. And it's real skills that they can yeah. do out in the world. And it might just grab that next school PR person yes. because all of a sudden they, Hey, they realize this is a thing and it's really fun. I and love that it. May affect what she, you know, I mean, not that working with me is going to be <laughs> such a fabulous thing, but she may really love being a social media person. And that might change her decision about what she wants to do in college. Absolutely. And, and if any of you are listening and you're like, oh, student takeover, well, start with a staff takeover. So yes. we had other people that did on, you know, it was an art day and they, so they had their art teacher take over for the day. My, my, my um, ad best advice is pick somebody that's already comfortable with Instagram that understands. And in most yes. cases, you guys were doing story takeover. So like they're, because stories are in the moment, a day yeah. in the life. Hey, check out this. It's videos, yeah. it's pictures, it's it's words on there, it's it's stickers, it's questions, it's all of that. But if you ask somebody that's already familiar with that platform, it it takes a little bit of guidance, a little bit of hey, make sure that you don't post, you yeah. know, something inappropriate. But frankly, Emily, I've done stories before. I've shared things and I'm like, "Oh my gosh." That boy is grabbing his crotch. Like you didn't even realize it when you took the picture or whatever. And then you're like oh, freaking out. Cause then you just take it down. You guys. Just so, take it down. so, just take it down. so anyways, just, uh, and watch for hand signals. That's my best yeah. advice. Right. Cause hand these signals or just, you know, just like little coding, you know, like those, you know, I, yeah. I guess I was, I'm already kind of in that mindset because I was a yearbook advisor for a long time. So I'm already programmed to think, what do these little <laughs> signals and codes mean. So, um, but I think, you know, if you know, if you can know the kid kind of ahead of time and you can get with the sponsor, their sponsors and the teachers know their kids right. and they're not going to give you somebody that's just going to, you know, drop the F-bomb or something. Right. Know? Yeah, absolutely. So I love it. I think this is a great way to be able to expand your reach, get a new audience and lighten the load off of yes. all of your shoulders. Um, yeah, your... it's a day off, basically. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. just have a day. You're just monitoring. 
Right, exactly. So that's really important. So, um, you know, you were part of this challenge and you were among, you know, over 400 other people that were doing it. You know, how does having a community surrounding you in a challenge like this kind of impact your inspiration, your confidence, your willingness to be like, yeah, I'm going to actually do this because I'm, I've always got too many things to do. Yeah. Um, so, so what, what's the difference in that? Well, it's huge because um, you have, first of all, everybody's so positive. Nobody is, you know, there are no negative Nellies. There just are not. And everybody's encouraged to contribute and offer suggestions. And then you get other ideas for your accounts. And, um, and I think, I think I also did your Facebook challenge Mm -hmm. um, last year. And I loved that. It was so fun. And it was a week. For, for this one, we had two weeks and we could kind of do it at our own pace. I, I liked both. I think having two weeks may have been a little more helpful just because we could kind of work at our own pace. And then we had our metric sheet to kind of measure a little more. And I think, I, I just think both challenges, number one, it, there was a, a sort of a structure to it that said, here, here's how, here's kind of the end result of what we want your Facebook and your Instagram to look like and kind of the goal of what it should look like. And here's some things that you can do to, to increase your reach, increase your followers, blah, blah, blah. And, and so that is really, that's the most important part, because if you're kind of a not so not great at social media, that that's what you need, because you're in the great nowhere. You're like, I don't know what I'm doing. If you're kind of more of a print person like me, I understand print. I can do, I can tell you anything you want to know about a newspaper or a magazine, your book, whatever, but social media is, was kind of a, a fuzzy area for me. So this helps me have a defined goal and, um, and then having all the people there being so supportive or just, it's just awesome. And you were there ever. I don't know. Did you ever sleep? Did you <laughs> You well, my husband issue. did know it was challenge week and it was <laughs> this time. So every time I was like on my phone, he's like, I get it. I understand. <laughs> so he is very supportive and it's just, and I, I always, Emily, I am so geeked out and excited for people. I'm like, oh my God, you got to see this. Look at this reel that they created. Look at this Instagram takeover. Like I just get so excited about all of it. So he, I mean, you, you answer anytime anybody posts something you answer. I'm like, I don't think she's asleep. She's asleep or I don't think she's eating or. <laughs> I love it. Well, I, I've also got a good team behind me too. That helps a lot, but um, yeah, I, I think that team atmosphere. And, and again, if you missed out on this one and, and we've done a few of these few cha- uh, free challenges, Emily, you're part of our membership group anyways. Um, this was actually my last free challenge. Um, all of the challenges now are going to happen. Like next year, we'll have a couple challenges just like this, but they happen inside my membership group. So as you're listening to this and you're doing planning for your 22, 23 school year, I'd love for you to jump into my membership group. Okay. Yeah. There's that option. But I will be having an Instagram boot camp that will basically be a repeat of what we did in this challenge. There is a cost. You can sign up if you're interested. But also inside of my membership group, this same challenge and all the recordings and and trainings and all of that it's all available for my members. So if you're like, I want to do, I want to up my Instagram like this summer, you totally can if you get inside the membership group and and you've been a, been a a active member in there. That's been helpful for you as well, Emily. It's an amazing experience. And the, just the resources in the membership group is incredible. There's a Canva directory. I mean, recorded webinar. I don't know how you do everything, Andrea. I mean, you, I was just, I mean, do you just have a day? Like your schedule must be just like, just jam packed all day long. It's pretty, it is pretty packed, but I love what I do. And I I get excited every morning today. I was up before 5am just because I'm so excited to get to do what I do. So, um, and I, I have, I have a big mouth. And so when I learn something cool, I like to share it with people. Um, but yeah, you're invited to check that out. I've got, uh, you know, if you just hi- head over to social school for edu.com, you'll be able to see that. I know, you know, um, everybody's got tight budgets, but I'm telling you, if you yeah. can attract or retain one student in your, in your exactly. school district, you're going to have a 10 X return mm-hmm. and the confidence 
the storytelling, the getting the students involved, all of that. And um, your, your, your principal, your superintendent, whoever, they want you to do professional development. And it really is probably a requirement. And this is a nominal fee based on what you need to be doing for professional development. And it just, it has helped so much. Every day I'm like, okay, I need to figure this out. And I just go on our group and I just search for something. I mean, right before you called, I was I was watching the recorded video for Teacher Appreciation Week because that's next week. Yeah. So I was making sure I had all my ducks in a row. So I'm already scheduling all those posts for next week. And, you know, it's extremely, extremely helpful to have that community there because somebody there has an answer for whatever random question you may have. And it, there's no question that is too crazy. Yeah. So it's very helpful. Yeah, and it helps save you time. And the biggest oh. thing when I started this group about three years ago was I was afraid that I wasn't gonna have all the answers, Emily. And I still, everybody, I don't have all the answers, but we collectively, we've got yeah. over almost 600 people in that group now and it's just growing. So somebody has the answer. Somebody's yeah. dealt with this situation. Somebody's got an idea for that or a Canva template. or, And yeah. so um, it's just really awesome because it feels, even though you're a single, like your one person shop. Now, all of a sudden, it almost feels like you've got yeah. a department behind you because you've got all this inspiration. Yes. So I love it. Um, so as we wrap up, Emily, and obviously, we talked a lot about Instagram today. So if you had one tip to share with people, it can be anything social media related. But if you want to make it on Instagram, you can, what would be the best tip for the listeners? Well, besides joining your group or or joining any of your challenges i mean that was the first that's the best thing i've ever done but if i think batch posting is extremely helpful well okay let me think i think using um business suite has been very very helpful um because now i i really operate more on my phone and i can I don't feel as glued to my machine and my desk um, or my laptop. That's probably the, that's probably one of the biggest benefits that I got from this because I, you know, I'm come kind of on the go. I have five kids and, you know, so we're, we're always going. So that really helped me, but I think anything that you can do as far as scheduling and, and, sort of batching all of that. Anything you can do to schedule and be as mobile as you can be is extremely helpful. So yeah. And it kind of that's the most important thing. And it turns you into being proactive instead of so yes. reactive. Yeah. And so you're talking about there is a business Facebook business suite is an app in the app store for your phone. You're easily able to schedule out posts and yes. look at analytics and you can schedule things to both Facebook and Instagram at the same time. But we know now that not everything belongs that way because again, many people, when they started this Instagram challenge was just like, I just post exactly what, and, uh, luckily everybody learned about videos and reels yeah. and stories and highlights. Um, so, uh, Emily, you are doing such an amazing job. I'm so, so Thank proud of you. You, you are, you. you lean into everything and just take, take control. Your school district is so lucky to have you. If somebody wanted to stay connected to Emily, what would be the best way? Would it be email or are you out on Twitter? Or what, what would be I the best on way? Twitter, um, but I think email is probably the best way to get a hold of me. Okay. And what's your email address? It's emily.white at sunnyvaleisd.com. It's S-U-N-N-Y-V-A-L-E-I-S-D.com. Okay. And we're going to be sure to link that email address and we'll link your Twitter account as well. What are you at on Twitter? It's um, E-T White, let's see, at E-T White 1. E-T White 1. Yep. Um, okay. So we'll put that in the show notes as well. Um, so thank you so much for your time. This was fun. We could have talked yeah. all, all day about all the great things I you're know. doing, but everybody should check out her Instagram page. Um, don't be afraid to do the takeover reels is fun. Once you get started and you know, you might be addicted. I see a lot of reels on your page, so I'm super proud. <laughs> it's I a have so much fun. It is addicting. 
it's a tool in your tool belt though now, isn't yeah. it? Because it, yeah. then your, your brain starts using like, okay, what, what could be yeah. a good use of this? Right. And some, frankly, sometimes when you get stuff that is not very good from people, it's like, yeah, I'll just throw these it's 10 pictures yeah. into a reel. Exactly. You know, it's like eight yeah. seconds long and you've posted it and all of a and sudden it might, it might reach a bunch of people. So and also like funny, you know, kind of like next week we have star Wars day. And, and so I've got a post for that, but I also, I've also heard that our teachers are doing attack of the cones for ice cream. I'm like, that'll be a funny reel, you know, right. you know, so that's, you know, funny things are, you know, that those things are, have more potential of getting reach from just for being silly, you know, and, and I yeah. think that's, I think those are, you know, humorous and yes, so. absolutely. Well, thanks. I think, so I, think I gave you the wrong <laughs> Twitter address. Oh, okay. What is it? Sorry. It's at ET underscore white one. <laughs> okay, ET underscore white one. We've got it correct in the, in the show notes. And so, yeah. um, great. Well, thanks so much for hanging out oh, with yeah. us and thanks everybody for listening in again. Uh, we've got, we've got, uh, links to, the membership group, a link to a sign up if you're interested in that Instagram uh, boot camp that'll be happening this fall. Uh, you might want to get your spot reserved. I'm sure we'll fill up because we will limit that because we do like that small group atmosphere. So um, take care, guys. And until next time, keep telling those stories. Bye, Emily. Bye.